hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video we are going to be demoing the new charlotte tilbury luxury palette of pearls in celestial pearl is this packaging beautiful or what my uh, best friend gifted me this palette for my birthday I ended up putting it on my wish list because I went to the store and I was able to swatch this in person and this special shade in the palette I mean that rose gold yet it's gold and rose gold with a hint of purple yeah I love that I'm all about it I'm all about it so I ended up putting it on my wish list and can we just I mean she does have the best packaging of this holiday season I haven't seen anything prettier launch this Christmas season so before we get started uh, you can head over to my Instagram. I did take a video of this, uh, you know, in the sunlight so you can really see that shift. Um, but I also want to take a video before I dig into this because, you know, it has little stars on it. Okay, so before we get started, I have already primed, prepped my face. I have my Bare Minerals Original Foundation uh, on. I am the color light oops and I have set my face with my mineral veil translucent powder bronzer I just used my Chanel bronzer this is just the original one that I have uh, made quite a dent like can we talk about I'm almost done with this look at this that's what I've got left I really like it though it has a really nice dry down I, I have to say I have enjoyed this and I completely understand why people love it haven't tried the new formula so for blush I am using my Tarte uh, blush bizarre palette and I have extraordinary as my blush and then I have whimsical as my highlight and for eyeshadow primer i'm just using my bare minerals gen nude bright and flawless primer let's go ahead and get started i'll be using my charlotte tilbury holiday brushes from last year this year's brush set is the same the only even the packaging is the same the only thing that changes the color so now this is red this year it was green last year this is my favorite color, so I'm glad I picked this one up. But I use her brushes all the time. And though that little brush set has come in clutch this year. So let's go ahead and dig right in. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in. Okay, so now I thought would be the perfect time to just insert this clip of the swatches. Here are the finger swatches. One, two, three, and four. That's how it's listed on the back of the quad. Like, look at that special shade on my middle finger. And this is a topper shade. You can see how light that is. And then here we have the first shade. We have that special shade. You guys see that slight purple, pink, rose, gold effect going on there then we have that bronzy shade and then here is a topper shade all right so i'm gonna go in with her little blender brush and obviously i clean them all the time but i'm gonna just follow her uh steps here my concern with this palette was that there wasn't a lot of color difference between these three shades right here so as you can see they're pretty similar but do you see that shade shift in that special shade right there 
so because there wasn't much of a difference between these three i was unsure whether i wanted to get this palette but this shade i felt head over heels over that special shade and this one no this one is really really nice so let's see how this looks on the lids i'm gonna start off with shade number one which is the prime shade right here and i'm gonna apply that all over the lid and all the way to the brow bone what is that noise it's my computer sorry I'm, I'm here wondering why I can't see myself in the mirror. There's, the plastic was stuck on there. Much better. Okay, so I have used that first shade on my lid to prime. So this shade is actually very soft a very soft pink not as sparkly as it looks in the pan I was expecting this to be glitter city but it's not it is actually a really beautiful prime shade and I'm just even evening that out Okay, so you can see how pretty that very soft satin finish to that shade is. Now let's go in with a clean brush. This is another clean blender brush. I actually have two of these. Gonna go in with a clean one and we're gonna go in to the second shade right here. This is the special shade. I'm gonna, it's supposed to be the enhanced shade. I'm gonna apply it all over the lid. I'm gonna try it with a brush on one eye and with my finger on the other, just so that we can see, you know, the difference in color, like impact of color. Let's go ahead and, oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Are you guys seeing that? Oh, love it. The moment you dip your brush into that shade, the stars are gone. I just want you to know those beautiful little embossed stars are gone. You do get a bit of fallout. Not a lot. You do get a bit of fallout with this shade. So if you're not into that, beware. <laughs> oh, I said I was going to use my finger on this eye. Let's, let's do that. But this is what it looks like with the brush. So if you want more of a subtle finish, that's what it looks like. Let's go in with my finger. Oh my goodness. Guys, look at this. Look at that shade. I'm gonna have to turn off the notification on my computer. Definitely packs a punch when you apply it with the finger. So I'm going to do the whole lid. So you can see the difference in color from both sides. Brush, finger. This is a much more intense. Now, what do I prefer? I actually prefer with the finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye just to even it out because this color is gorgeous and I want it all over the lid and it screams holiday. <sighs> Look at that. Look at when the sun hits it. Look at that shift. Okay. Now, let's go in with the smoke shade, which is this uh, light coppery 
a brown shade that's here. And I'm gonna use her smudger brush and I'm just gonna concentrate that like on the outer V and half of the crease. This one is a satin finish. I don't have any fallout with this shade. And I am gonna smudge that here in the lash line in the corner and just kind of shade this outer section. That's pretty. Let's build that up. And then now I'm gonna wipe my one of my crease brushes. Not the one with the special shade. I'll use the one that I used to prime. Use the priming shade. And we're gonna go into that same coppery, smoky shade. And then let's work this into the crease a little. This shade is definitely less sparkly than the two I just laid down. It's a very subtle, you see that? You see the difference in both eyes? It's a very subtle it's almost like a, it's a transition shade, really, is what this reminds me of. Just going to go ahead and do the crease on this eye. And then I'll go in with the smudger brush. Formula is very soft, typical Charlotte Tilbury formula. Going in with the smudger brush now. They basically blend themselves so if you want like a sparkly yet subtle look for the holiday season I think you would really like this palette because this can go so well with a red lip or a nude lip if you just want to keep it daytime daytime glam I'm so glad I went into the store. Let me fix this situation really quick. Okay, sorry about that. My computer's usually off when I'm filming. Didn't realize it was on. All right, so we have built that up. Let me just go in one more time into the crease because I want to match the intensity of this eye. So nice. I think this is one of the most, these two quads that came out, I think this is one of the most unique things, you know, unique eyeshadow um, formulas she's come out with. This shade shifting, really nice. I, I really like that. Next, I'm going to go in with this um, very thin uh, lip or liner brush. And I'm going to go into that bronzy shade. And I'm going to apply that to the lower lash line. And just on the outer corner. Not a lot. Just a smidge. That's really pretty. Okay, now for the last shade, it is this gold shade right here. And this was the shade I was the most weary about because, let me show you something. It doesn't pack a lot of color, so it's considered a topper shade, right? 
but i don't really want to cover up that beautiful like special shade i just laid down so what i'm gonna do is with my finger i'm going to apply it to the center So it does give you a brightness so you can tell the difference between both eyes. This is with my finger. Let me try with a brush. I'm actually going to use a flat shader brush from Bare Minerals. You can use any flat shader brush you have. And let's see how this is going to look on the other eye with a brush. see if we get the same effect because usually this shade is supposed to be applied with the finger so I don't see much of it on the eyelid you do have to go in a little bit harder with a brush it's achievable but if you don't got that kind of time just go in just go in with your finger it's the wrong finger and just tap 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 that's beautiful i like it but i feel like she could have done something different with this shade now just for science <laughs> and curiosity let's go ahead and try to apply this shade as a brow bone highlight shall we let's go in with a very light light brush in case we don't like it <laughs> we can kind of fix it so I'm just using a fluffy deluxe crease crease brush from real techniques it's clean let's just get a little bit on here and now let's apply it to the brow bone so it can't you can't use it as a brow bone highlight it doesn't the brush isn't going to pick up much and it's a little too sparkly to be I think a brow bone highlight again just out of curiosity let me try it with this flat shader brush and see what happens mm. no I don't like it as 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 a um, no as a brow bone shade it's definitely a topper shade it's a little too sparkly for the brow bone that and it really works best with a finger and if I go in with a finger and I, mm, that's gonna be a hot mess I won't be able to fix that it's gonna ruin this entire video so I'll be right back with some eyeliner and mascara all right so I opted not to apply eyeliner with this look I I don't know I felt like it was gonna be a little too abrasive a little too aggressive for these light tones so all i did was apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes i used my bare minerals uh lash domination mascara and i applied some of my tom ford fiber brow gel to my brows and then for lips i did my, the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner with her pillow talk uh lip luster so this lip I actually like for the daytime, you know, if you are going to like a holiday party during the day. And can we just appreciate the colors on this shadow? Like, are you guys seeing the shift? I'm switching my face, turning my face here. Love this palette. I feel like it gives me snowflake vibes 
snowflake vibes now i want to show you the same look with a red lip that i feel is like you know if you have more than one party to attend one during the day one during the night all you have to do is switch your lip color and i think it vamps up the look completely to nighttime soft glam <laughs> so i'll be right back so this is what it looks like with red lipstick i'm actually wearing my um this is a chanel lipstick i don't have any red lipsticks from charlie tilbury uh this is rouge allure velvet 277 rouge fauve and this was from the la lion uh collection really love this red it's a little brighter than what i usually gravitate towards but i think it elevates the look and i feel that it gives you that nighttime soft glam i love 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 this look i think it's beautiful if you're somebody who doesn't like to do anything dramatic on the eyes for holiday but you want something special definitely recommend this palette i was uh pleasantly surprised uh the only thing is out of all of her eyeshadow palettes i feel like this one has had the most fallout and i don't know if it's because i used brushes uh you know i feel like this palette is best used with your fingers applying with your fingers but if you are going to use brushes then try to put maybe a guard you know maybe like a little lip uh, i mean i one of those little eye uh makeup patches that'll catch the fallout i was able to dust it off with a brush uh i and i can't see anything you can see maybe a couple of little sparkles here and there but it's not something that bothers me if it's something that bothers you then definitely put some under eye guards while you're doing your eyeshadow using this palette nonetheless i really really like it and i think it's beautiful uh and it's still available at sephora so you can get it with whatever discount you have according to your tier all right, you guys, that completes this video. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.